How's our state doing and how's the great uh, city of Manhattan and all the boroughs and all of the, um, as the governor said, all the things that make us great, living on top of each other, riding to work on top of each other, bustling down the street, touching shoulders. How do we get back to that? So right now, the country is in a health care crisis and people need to stay home and change the way their life is right now. It's what they can do for their country. It's what they can do for our vulnerable populations. It's what they can do for their neighbor. We want New Yorkers to stay home. We want them to only go out when they need to buy groceries or go to the pharmacy. Uh, we want them to not visit their grandparents. We want them to call their grandparents and check in on them. So it is gonna change how we live in the short term, but in the long term, because of the moves the governor's making, because of the work that we are doing here in the Senate with Senator Schumer and my colleagues, we are going to recover. It's just gonna take much longer than people think, and we need immediate relief for those most in crisis right right now. And I want to ask you about the legislation that um, sounds like it's, it's close to being done, but not quite done. But I, I first want to ask you if you agree with Donald Trump's, President Donald Trump's goal of getting the economy turned back on by Easter. I don't think it's realistic, and it's neither based on science nor our medical professions assess professionals' assessments. The truth is this virus is going to be with us for several months ahead of us. Uh, we are going to have to continue to invest in our healthcare system so that we have the supplies and the treatments and the ability to treat patients. Those who need ICU rooms have to be able to receive that. People need beds. Uh, governors across the country are trying to increase the access that people have to the healthcare system. It's going to be longer than people expect, but we are a resilient nation. We are a country that has endured wars, has endured Great Depression. We are a country that understands that we have to help one another and our resilience is our greatest strength. Senator, help people understand how when a state's governor, um, as Governor Cuomo did yesterday, says we need 40,000 ventilators, when the vice president and the White House say you'll get four to 10,000, he comes back and says, you decide which 20 to 25,000 people will die. I think people don't understand why it takes so long for things to happen in Washington. Can you talk about the urgency that you and you mentioned Senator Schumer have brought to this bill, this process that's still underway? because of New York State being the epicenter? Yes. So one of the biggest crises we have right now is the hospitals need resources and they need medical supplies. There's two ways we can do that. First of all, this piece of legislation puts $150 billion immediately into our hospital network systems. New York hospitals will benefit greatly from that. They're running in deficits. They're not taking in paying clients, paying patients. Uh, they're only uh, dealing with emergencies and dealing with COVID-19. So there's two things we can do. One, send the money, which we've put into this legislation. Two, we have the Defense Production Act, which allows the country to use all our manufacturing resources to manufacture the products that our health professionals need, including masks, including gowns, including ventilators. Uh, we have laser printing all across New York State. Our manufacturers are already doing this willingly, figuring out how do they actually create the ventilators that our governor and governors around the country need. The military has stockpiles of masks, ventilators, and other resources. We have asked that stockpile to be released in full immediately. And this bill provides a billion dollars to actually get the supply chain for medical equipment up and running quickly. We've also put $16 billion into contingency emergency funds to replace those stockpiles. So next month and the month after, there'll be other supplies there ready and waiting when we need it. Uh, but President Trump has he slept on this issue. We knew this was coming in December. Mm. We knew that we should be investing in supplies and, and, and healthcare systems in December. He did nothing. He did absolutely nothing to get us prepared for this crisis. And so now it's left to good governors like Governor Cuomo, who's working overtime to, to make up for the lack of leadership from President Trump. 
But I know that our hospitals are prepared to meet this need. Uh, we have, we have uh, our State University of New York system donating dormitories for extra bed space. We have the FIT, the mm -hmm. Fashion Institute, making masks and gowns right now for upstate New York hospitals that are out as of yesterday. So New Yorkers are rising to the occasion. Mm -hmm. They are going to meet the need, and we will get through this. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.